Good morning, everybody. This is Nicholas Teo from CMC Markets here in Singapore. Uh, today is the uh, 6th of uh, May. Um, just a few things. Uh, we haven't really started off May you know, on a good footing. Uh, we've seen quite a bit of a sell down in the markets, uh, equity markets uh, on, a, on a global basis, led largely by some of the European uh, complexes or some of the European majors. Now, uh, that's come about uh, on, on the back of a series of different things. One, we saw a stronger euro dollar uh, coming into, into play. A uh, combination of two things. One, we saw inflationary numbers or rather slightly more inflationary numbers in some of the uh, European nations, especially Germany, etc. Et uh, but we also saw uh, the US uh, come up with uh, less flattering numbers. Now, over that series of time, the stronger euro dollar, as we see down here, uh, has ultimately caused for some shakeout in some of the big European bosses. Last night was no different. Uh, the German, the DAX, uh, the CAC in France, and also some of the markets in both Italy and Spain uh, saw uh, sell downs of roughly 2% or more. Uh, whether this continues or not uh, remains to be seen. Uh, it all started out in the, with the A50s uh, when we saw a sell down of as much as about 4% last, uh, last night. Uh, today we are seeing a little bit of a rebound up about 1.5%. Uh, but it's still early days. Uh, here you see in the chart, the A50s <coughs> saw this meltdown uh, coming in uh, through the course of the, the morning uh, and it continued late into the afternoon sessions. Uh, found a bit of stabilization, now we are starting to see a rebound. This is a 15 minute chart, minute chart and you're seeing a little bit of a sort of support resistance here which is why the market seemed to be pausing down here looking for further direction uh, forward. Uh, now if you were to look at uh, just the, the daily chart and this is, you know, uh, uh, the, the futures uh, for May. Um, the reflection is that we've seen, you know, quite a steep climb, uh, and this perhaps suggests that we may see a potential pullback uh, in view of the volatility that we are probably expecting in terms of uh, some of the major uh, major plays. Uh, some stocks that we are following include uh, Apple down here, uh, and this is. Not so much a, 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 excuse me, this is a, uh, if I just put up the daily chart, uh, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Um, we're seeing, you know, that the pattern actually pan out over the last year or two years. If you draw it even further back, we've seen an, even a longer um, sort of a uh, rise up. Uh, we're starting to see a double top formation forming down here. Uh, whether this holds, i.e. this resistance of 133 uh, or not, uh, uh, or whether this level holds, uh, which is a, a, a near-term uh, support of around 121, 122, uh, remains to be seen. But essentially, Apple, uh, together with some of uh, the other key names that have been, uh, some of the key tech names, which have seen actually a one-direction move, uh, uh, is, looks a bit crowded. Uh, now, while I don't think ma anything major is going to shake this thing up, uh, essentially, this is one of the potential candidates that could see a potential pullback in view of sellers, sellers that may be nervous where global equity markets are concerned. Uh, another stock that we are following uh, in the China complex uh, is, for example, some of these uh, Chinese airlines, uh, airline plays. You've seen this meteoric rise uh, in the early uh, April, late March sort of uh, end with a maybe almost similar double top formation. This huge island down here looks a bit nervous uh, and you know things could probably fall off a cliff if we see a sell down in some of the Chinese uh, indices and Chinese names. So a few names that we are following, a few names that we are keeping track uh, and if, if you notice uh, we are more uh, uh, slightly cautious in terms of our approach uh, going, going forward purely because there's uh, quite a bit of froth that has been built in the markets uh, in year-to-date performances uh, and certain headwinds uh, could be for example this Friday's uh, payroll numbers from the US uh, which could trigger a move uh, being a continuation of the move up or a pullback uh, that I think is, is, is well so-called expected by many corners of the market in view of the big performances that we've had so far. Anyway, several thoughts for you today. Thank you very much.